Hello everybody, this is Jeff Rudder. I'm going to show you how to add a tab to your fan page, personal page, using the Perfect Capture Page machine from Futuristic Marketing. Now you'll notice here I'm at my personal Facebook page. And I've got Perfect Capture Machine right here. If you've already installed it, you should have it on your Facebook. I click on that. And it comes up with the training. But you just, since I've already done it, I just click on here to get started. And, okay, you choose the page that you want marketing page and then you would go to add page tab since I already have a tab on my page I'm just going to cancel out and I'm going to go to my page and as I scroll down here you see I have perfect capture page machine dot com this first thing you see is the different styles that you can choose. Now I'm going to choose this particular style. And you can see the way it's going to look. You have a pre-headline, headline, you can put a video in there, then you have some bullet points, and of course your your capture. The first thing you do is you go to page headings. All right, you see I've got test in there. I'm going to delete that. And to make things go faster, I already did this and saved it in Notepad so that I... Okay. There. Now you can bold that. I want to make sure that it's centered, so I'm going to highlight it and center it. And I think I will bold it while we're at it. Okay. Delete that. Go back to my notepad and get the next. Okay. There is your headline text. I'm also going to center that. Then you come down to your content. You have a video URL for the video. And I've already got that taken care of. Okay, now your offer text. Delete that. Control V. See if that got it. There we go. Okay. For some reason, this thing doesn't like to use the mouse to let you paste things in, so you're going to have to use control V. My number one bullet, control V. Let's make sure that got right. Okay. Bullet number two, control V. Let's double check. Bullet number three, Okay, you've got space for five bullets, but I'm only going to use three. The disclaimer text and the terms of service text and the privacy text, I understand that there are defaults built in, that these were done by Jonathan and Mark, so you can just leave those blank for the capture form. All 
I forgot. I've put in here, fill out the form to learn more for the blue headline text. And for the opt-in box text, enter your name and email to continue. Now, a very important thing was the autoresponder code. Since I'm going to use Aweber, you have to put the code in here. Now, you're going to over here, control V, and there it is. There it is. Now, if you click on the one, then you'll get this little pencil here. And you can edit the settings. And you can change the image. And there we go. Okay, now we go back home. And that should be all good. Let's close out this and go back to my marketing page. And there you have it. Now, click on the one again and click on the pencil and edit the settings again and custom tab name. I'm going to call this Numis. And you save and OK. And there you have it. So now let's go back and test it once more. I'm willing to bet that somebody else that came out here and looked at this would not see the Add New Tab or the Edit Tab. So here we have my page. You fill in your name and your email. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it was informative to you. If you have any questions, you can contact me through my Facebook page. Thank you very much, and have a great day.